Drone footage showed dozens of migrants congregated along the Rio Grande shore in Eagle Pass on September 26. This follows the recent installation of razor wire on the river bank by Texas National Guard, effectively barricading the migrants' access to the United States, with groups of migrants as large as 1,000 or 2,000 attempting crossing into the U.S., the Border Patrol are actively engaged in trying to manage the influx, said Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens. Agents cut an opening in the razor wire to allow migrants seeking asylum to enter and turn themselves in to be detained last week. Texas officials signed an emergency declaration to seek funding for additional services. Rail operator Union Pacific said thousands of tons of freight are being held up as train traffic to Mexico via Eagle Pass has halted. Is where there is a land border with a fence, in some areas here, the border actually starts in the middle of the river. So by the time the migrants encounter our agents, they are already in the U.S., they can't climb up the riverbank which is fine until they start getting themselves into trouble. If they start, if they start getting swept away by the currents, if they start succumbing to the environment, the extreme temperatures and humidity that you all feel right now, and my men and women see that, they are not going to let somebody die or get into harm's way. That's why they take the action they do. shores already in the United States to ask my men and women to sit there and watch them succumb to the environment, to ask them to watch them get swept away by the river, to ask them to watch women and children drown is not something I or anybody else would ever do. I applaud them and I support them 100% for doing what they have to do to protect the lives of not just migrants but everybody that's involved. Yes, for it. Get in line. 